Hello everyone, we'll discuss here patient safety and quality improvement. My objective is covering high yield points in patient safety and quality improvement. We'll start with medical errors. A medical error is an act that has the potential to cause patient harm, regardless of whether or not harm reaches the patient. Patient with no history of allergic reaction to penicillin developed a severe allergic reaction to amoxicillin. What type of medical errors? Preventable medical error, non-preventable medical error, non-intercepted near miss error, intercepted near miss error, or sentinel event? The correct answer is non-preventable medical error. The correct history was taken, but still the patient developed allergic reaction to penicillin. Two types of medical errors, preventable adverse events, which is a medical error that results in harm to the patient. For example, giving amoxicillin to the patient who is allergic to penicillin. Potential adverse events or near misses. This is a medical error that do not cause harm to the patient. For example, giving six ml of amoxicillin instead of five and no adverse effects or no symptoms after taking the extra ml you have a child in your clinic received the wrong immunization he has no symptoms and doing well what should be done in this situation do not tell the parents tell the parents it is not my mistake reassure the parents the child will be okay fire the medical assistant who gave the wrong vaccine provide apology to parents reassuring them that further steps will be taken to prevent further errors the answer is to provide apology to parents, reassuring them that further steps will be taken to prevent further errors. They will trust you more. And we have to disclose medical errors. Not disclosing medical errors is a big mistake. Once the parent recognize or realize, they will be after you. So it is very important to be honest and sincere. Medical error disclosure. Once a medical error has been detected, it must be disclosed to the patient and the family. Providers should consider offering an apology and disclosing medical errors. Parents and patients desire and deserve disclosure of errors that have caused them harm. Disclosure of medical errors by physicians help build the trust in the clinician. I never lost a family in my practice because I disclosed any errors in my clinic. Actually, the respect and the bond has increased after disclosing the errors. So don't be afraid to apologize. Frank disclosure of medical errors by physicians decreases the likelihood of parents seeking legal action. Don't hide it. Having trouble or trying to pass the pediatric board exam? We have the definitive solution for you, presenting the Last Minute Review Series, a powerful tool for achieving success in pediatric board exams, crafted by Dr. Osama Naga, a board-certified pediatrician by American Board of Pediatrics and the editor of the Pediatric Board Study Guide, a Last Minute Review. Dr. Naga breaks down the most critical subjects in this series. The Pediatric Last Minute Review webpage offers a thorough and rigorous set of pediatric board review sessions that are in line with the study guide. The lectures will cover the most important topics for each condition that a pediatrician must know for pediatric board exams, as well as real-life clinical encounters. The inclusion of a clinical case scenario, accompanied by multiple choice questions, followed by the most probable answer and a comprehensive description of the issue, will ensure test readiness for each student. You will be able to download the lecture's PDF files to make your studies easier, to take notes and be accessible on the go and offline. Based on the membership plan you choose, you will have unlimited access to the lectures for either one month, three months, six months, or one year. By viewing these videos, you will increase your chances of passing the board exam and gain substantial advantages from the acquired knowledge. Additionally, by studying the material and completing the AAP prep questions from the previous three years, you will greatly increase your likelihood of passing the board and will acquire a wealth of knowledge. Click on the link provided below to visit lastminutepediatric.com and subscribe immediately. 
be sure to take advantage of our free video samples on our YouTube channel, Pediatric Board Last Minute Review. Good luck with your exams.